There he is. There's five. Oh my God, there's five. Come on, eat the other one, eat the other one, eat the other one. Oh, yes, yes. Good morning. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then hey, welcome back. But if this is your first time, my name is Captain Devin. I run Louisiana Fishing Blog and I teach people how to fish the inshore waters of Louisiana for speckled trout and redfish. And if that's the kind of content you enjoy, then please consider subscribing to my channel. On this beautiful Louisiana morning, I launched out of Sweetwater Marina in Delacro. And the mission today is to catch a limit of speckled trout. But there's a problem, and the problem here is that I have absolutely no idea where fish are at. So I have a plan, and that plan is based upon the conditions for today. We got a two foot rising tide, rising all day long until 1 p.m. We've got wind blowing five to 10 miles an hour out of the south, and that water temperature is 86 degrees. So my plan here is to cover a whole lot of water. I'm going to fish rigs. I'm going to fish islands. And I'm going to look for targets of opportunity like diving birds. And I think that's a pretty good plan. I think that's got to start it for now. However, if it doesn't work out, we can always roll to plan B, which is just playing redfish. All right, rigs and islands, rigs and islands. That's the plan. Okay, well, there must be something going on here because I see two other boats and a third just pulled up. You know, I haven't been back here since I've had electronics. I mean, dude, last time I fished this was like, I might have fished this in 2012 is the last time I was out here. And those guys over there just caught a hard head. So that's not, that's not very promising. All right, we're gonna take a ride. This ain't doing it. All right, I'm already marking fish here. And then what we gotta do is actually catch something. Water here looks a little more green. Come on, Ray, give me something. Show me something. That felt awesome. That felt friggin' amazing, and it is a hammer trout. Oh my gosh. Oh, yes, spot lock. Skunk is out the friggin' boat. First fish of the day, baby, and it feels good. This is a nice trout. This is what I, this is what I came looking for right here. And she just hammered that bait down. Look at that. All right, let's uh, get her back in the water and let's catch more. Back in the water you go. Come on, let's not, let this be a fluke. Let's find a pattern here at this rig. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Come on. That felt awesome. It's just a blam, 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 blam. Yes. Speckled trout number two, baby. Oh, that's, that's a release. Let's uh, click that in. Number two. All right and catch 23 more right here. Yeah. All right, this ain't working out. We are going to go. I'm thinking, uh, thinking about taking a ride and looking for birds. I'm gonna show you what good moving water looks like. It's right here. You see that point of that island? Let me zoom in. And you can see that tide line wink, right there that's streaming off of it. Think of that tide line as being like a, a highway. 
that fish and bait you use to get around the marsh. They're worth fishing, and I'm gonna go fish it right now. So I like to use a big motor, get a little closer, and then finish closing the distance with the trolling motor. Popping cork's good to throw. You can really throw anything, but the popping cork is good. And I'm still wearing my life jacket for some reason. <sighs> Now you can't expect to just pull up to the first tide line you see and start catching fish. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, what you want to do is have a bunch picked out before you roll out and fish all of them. Keep going, keep going until you find them. Or it just might be a pattern where you pull up and you'll catch like three trout and then that'll be it. That's all that's really there for you and then you pick up and go to the next tie line and catch the three trout and do that 10 times, well, you got 30 fish, which is great. Anyway, in the time that I've been speaking, I've been casting and I have not caught anything. So let's go ahead and go to the next tide line. What I like about this one is you can see all the crab traps going down this tide line. Crabbers also use tide lines because, I mean, it's, it's, if it's a highway for bait and fish, it's a highway for crabs, too. So, they can be good to, they can be good to fish, is what I'm saying. I'll be honest with y'all, it's, it's almost 10 a.m. and I'm kind of just feeling playing redfish. I think I'm just going to bang this out and maybe look for another one or something and, and fish at. So I can say it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's just barely 12 inches. Barely 12 inches, but this is trout number three. Put him back in the water. There might be a pattern here. So let's just keep doing this. That's the fish that's gonna keep me here for freaking 30 minutes. Yeah, I know I caught that trout, and I'm pretty sure it's a curveball from nature designed to screw up my game. But I've been casting for a while now, and it just had, if this, if this were a pattern, I would have picked up another one. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, seeing that it is 9.58 a.m. right now, is I'm gonna take a ride to where I think redfish could be. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I, gotta make, I gotta make this video happen, man. I will roll to go find those redfish. And on my way there, I'm gonna drive through like some major tidal highways looking for diving birds. Just my thing though is I don't know if I'm really gonna find any diving birds on an incoming tide. Yeah, this is... That, this is it for me. We're gonna we're gonna execute that plan right now. That and I can already feel raindrops from this storm right here. So let's get rolling. Okay, so we have a little bit of a development here. Um, already got rained on once, but also we have this bad mamma jamma behind me. Um, yeah, and I'm really worried about it because I've watched a water spout grow out of it, and now it's hidden by rain. And I've been watching this thing grow on radar because I, I do have, fortunately, I do have a data connection here. I also happen to find a halfway decent looking semi grassed over redfish pond. Or just a pond. <laughs> We're going to find out there's redfish in it. But everything I want to fish now is covered by this storm. This is kind of turning into a day where I'm just getting screwed and life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, right? So uh, let's try and make some lemonade. Let's get to work, baby. Yeah, today is definitely turning into one of those long days. Uh, Murphy's Law is definitely out to get me today. I just felt cold air rush down from the, from the sky, so, you know, if this thing gets any closer, I'm gonna have to run away from it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was lightning. And we are leaving. All right, so I took a ride and uh, we're here now. 
You may be able to hear them. I got some diving birds behind me. I got a tide line. You can see all the crab traps that are gracing the area. This could be good. All we can do is give it a whack. Don't quit. Ooh, that felt awesome. That felt, oh, there's shrimp jumping. Oh my God, there's shrimp jumping. I just saw a trout. Eat one. All right, he was small, but those were trout. There we go. There's a fish. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, but this guy's 12 inches. Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. Let's do this. Come on. That's trout number four. Dude, how am I just not getting blown up left and right? There we go. Yeah, oh man. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at that beautiful speckled trout, baby. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, okay. Speckled trout number five. I, I just don't understand how I'm not catching more fish right now. The, the amount of shrimp I've seen jumping around, it is, it is disgusting. Dude, I, t I tell you what, if the gunnels were any lower on the back end of this boat, uh, th there's a, a shrimp that just would have hopped inside of it, inside of the boat, it's unreal. Absolutely mind boggling. It's a nice trout too. Oh my gosh, it's a nice trout. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This makes speckled trout number eight. Oh, trout. <sighs> well, I was gonna, God damn, I just hooked myself. Great. I get to unhook myself on camera today. That's what I get for getting excited. Right in the knee. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Need to pay more attention. Barb came right out. Yay. All right, I've been casting for like five, 10, I don't know, 15 minutes now. And, you know, the birds are kind of thinned out. I'm not seeing a crazy shrimp action anymore. I'm certainly not catching speckled trout or anything for that matter. Not the worst stop in the world, but the sky is free and open, at least in the direction we want to go. So let's go back to playing redfish for like the second or third time today. <clears throat> All right, we are here at the redfish spot. I wanted to fish and I don't want to trump it up like it's going to be this like big awesome thing because it's probably not it's just where i wanted to go and i'm just now getting here hours later in the day let's get this boat going in the right direction here so wind is definitely pushing us away from the shoreline and we'll get a look at the water and everything and try and figure out what it is that's going on here see if we can't catch a redfish kind of slow down a little bit here guys the water here is so clean you know, you can't really see it on the cameras that well, I'm sure, because it is so overcast. But you know what's interesting is that I actually have overcast lenses. So there's a, uh, there's a new sunglass company called Bahio. I got a couple pairs of sunglasses from them, glass lenses. And this is a... Oh yeah, this is a much, oh, this is much better for seeing in this. See, this is <clears throat> their Trevally lens. It's like a blue mirror lens that um, is made for brighter conditions, but it's not super bright right now. These are the Cuda gray lenses that are made for lower light conditions, kind of like what we have right now when it's overcast. My understanding is that the people at Bahio are actually the people from Costa. And Costa got bought out by like, a redfish right there. Oh boy! 
anyways, what I was saying is that um, the people that made Costa Costa are now at Bahio. Yeah, he might be a little too big to boat flip. I'm glad I put these sunglasses on because they can, I can see a lot better in this water with them. Okay, um, are you are you out of gas? Ah, uh, yeah. Just grab him and bring him in the boat. There we go. That's my first redfish caught on Bahio sunglasses, actually, and this is the first redfish for today. Hopefully, we catch more. So what was important to me is that I actually meet the people at Bahio and uh, just kind of put a face to the name and make sure they're good people, I guess. And that is one of the reasons why I went to iCast. And I, I did get to meet them and uh, like what they got going on. So if you're looking for like a new pair of sunglasses, uh, check out Bahio. All right, bud. Back in the water you go. Awesome. All right, let's catch some more. That was so cool. Here's the thing with like redfish stands and all that. They're cool, they're great, I have one. The lower you are, the closer to the boat the redfish will swim. I mean, that redfish was practically right next to the boat. Yes, you do see more in the stand, but redfish can see you too. Honestly, a cooler is really all you need, but those stands where you can put like two people in them and whatnot, it, there's, there's, there's one right there. Boy, eat. Oh, I see two more. I see two more. Got him. Oh, yeah, boy. And th that's all third. Just take off. Dude, that sun will come out. Oh, my God, there's a third. I'm going to do something really crazy. Where'd that third, where, where did he go? Where did he go? <laughs> yeah, y'all know what I'm trying to do. Hopefully I just don't lose this rod. It doesn't go flying out from between my legs. Okay, I don't see him anymore. This is a drum spots redfish right here. Look at that, look at all those dots. If y'all haven't seen the drum spots Instagram, it's awesome. There we go. Sometimes you just gotta manually pick up the trolling motor and clear it and that's just all there is to it. I've used blades and grass ninjas, whatever it is you want to call them, and they kind of work. Sometimes though, the stuff is just so thick, you gotta get down there and hand clear it. All right, I got some momentum here. I'm just gonna drift. We'll be quiet. We'll be stealthy. Hopefully we'll see some redfish. Worst case scenario, if we don't see any more, we know that we left some back there, we can Quietly leave the pond and come back around and do that whole shore line. There's one. Look at that guy right there. Clan redfish is coming together. Let's go ahead and get you back in the water, bud. Coming out here and seeing them swimming around and seeing all the bait and everything interacting and whatnot makes you a better overall inshore angler and will help you catch. Just need to come out here and have fun. Hey, little booger, I see you and you're gonna eat this freaking pack of crawl. There's a carp. He's silver colored though. So, redfish, you'll see them swimming around and you'll learn how many don't eat, how many swim right past their cork. Generally, when their fins are out like a shark, they'll eat. This one, his fins are pulled in and they're he's just spooked. Stop hanging around the boat if you're not gonna eat, dude. Gosh. But like, so you see that push right there, and I know that's a carp because I can see him. 
But if you spent time sight fishing, then you would know that it's a carp or, or that it could be a carp. And I don't like pushing carp in front of the boat because then they go out and spook everything else. There's one. Eat. What the frick? Dude. Here we go. So if I land them, this will be four. This is a pretty pale colored fish for this kind of water. I keep looking for a buddy swimming around because I have that other rod ready, but okay, not this time. Come on. There's one. He's a hammer too. This guy's a pig. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. oh he ate anyway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he he kind of spooked there for a second. Maybe he saw me move or something. <laughs> Dude, this guy is an absolute pig. Oh gosh. There's how some redfish, I'm able to get them to the boat pretty quickly. This guy has a lot of spunk in him. Bam. Redfish number five. Let's get this bad boy back in the water. Oh, you biggin. Well, he just took right off. You know, guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's been a long day. I had to work pretty hard to get here. I had to put up with a whole lot of BS. And I'm thinking that I just want to catch more redfish. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Yeah, let's do some more. I'm gonna put that cooler up here and just see how much better I can see with this. <clears throat> oh yeah, so much better. That looks like one I caught earlier. His fins are folded in. He won't have nothing to do with this boat. There's one right there just floating out there. It's a floating pumpkin. Got you. I let him eat it. I made sure it went in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Bam, baby. Playing redfish saves the day again. Man, I, I was really getting upset and frustrated earlier. Oh, I really was. This makes it all better. It looks like there's two up here. I'm just gonna wait till I get closer. There's five, oh my God, there's five. Oh, come on, eat the other one, eat the other one. Eat the other one. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, no, no, the other one broke. Oh, that was gonna be two redfish. Oh, man. Oh, come on now. Dude, I, I did it, sort of. Gosh dang, on oh, all these redfish are horses, man. Oh, bummer, dude. Dude, what a drag. Yeah, let me get the net for this guy. Oh, man. Come on, buddy. Ooh, almost, man. Ladies and gents, man, that was cool. I'm gonna have to try again. All right, let's get you, let's get you back in the water, buddy. All right, there's one in front of me. I'm looking for a second one. I don't see a second one. I'm just gonna catch this one. Oh. Looking for a second one anyway. I still don't see one. You 
you know, I honestly, this could be redfish number eight or nine or whatever. I don't know. I just, it's not two redfish at the same time. I'm really hung up on that right now. All right, bud, here you go. All right. Now stick around for a second because there's a, a few things that I want to show you. First and foremost, if you enjoyed today's fishing trip, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to know when the next one goes live, then all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. If you'd like to learn more about my redfish setup, the fishing rod, reel, line, and the lure, then you can watch this video and this video right here, or use the links in the video description below. Thanks for watching and tight lines.